Hi everyone, Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. A uh, fun little mixed media project today, very small, very fun on a canvas board. So um, you can do this on whatever size you want. I had a small uh, focal point that I was working with and a small canvas board that was laying around, so I just used what I had. All right, um, see you on the table. So here's the piece. It's a little bit hard to see when it's down on my table. Oh, the light kind of reflects off it, but uh, the name of this piece is Children Are to Be Seen, Not Heard. I love that. Uh, fun background, many layers, of course. Very fun. Okay, good morning. You know it's dark o'clock here in Vallejo, California. This is what uh, I'm going to play with this morning. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do, but sometimes that's how it is when you sit at the table. So I have my Mod Podge and Gesso, three colors of craft acrylic paint, the uh, Art Varnish, or you can use Mod Podge or glazing material, glazing material, yeah, um, a makeup sponge, credit card, stencil. I've been promising to use some paper tape, washi tape, so we're going to play with that. Lots of fun underpants. I have a few of the circus images left. I'm going to toss those on there, I think. This is the small canvas board that I'm going to play with this morning. I have a few of these I need to use up. And there's my focal point. So let us begin. So the canvas boards already have a coat of gesso on them. So I'm going to just start putting some underpants on. And since I know my focal point is going to go this way, then I'm going to treat the underpants that way. And I will leave enough hanging off the edge to wrap it. So I'm leaving a fair amount off. And while that, I don't have to wait for the Mod Podge to dry, thank goodness. And I'm going to take my gift card or credit card and dip it into my gesso and just drag some gesso down. And we'll let that dry. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this. Everything seems like it's pretty dry. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and cut the corners back a little bit. So I don't have so much bulk at the corners when I fold it back. Look at this clean work surface. Oh my goodness. I'm going to let that dry a little bit before I flip it over. Now I'm going to bring in the next layer of underpants. These are a little bit more interesting than just the book text. Wow, 
I'll leave a space between them so that we can see the book text underpants. Stamps. There we go. Okay, now we have some of that gosh darn paper tape. Let's put some of that on. I'm going to leave it over the edge a little bit so I can wrap that. Sometimes the paper tape does not stick real well. It is not my favorite product to work with, but somebody in the village asked that we might play with some paper tape. Beautiful already. Okay, grabbing a first color. These are my three colors that I chose. I chose a green, a light blue, and a gold. We're going to go with the gold first. It's not a very big canvas, so we don't need too much paint. And I'm going to put a little bit of the varnish in to extend it, to dilute it a little bit. Grab my credit card, just kind of mush it right there on the canvas. And drag it over your piece. And let that dry. And I'm going to bring in a few of the circus pieces and my Mod Podge. Some more paper tape that I can bring in. Fold that around. Bring in my second color of paint. These are my two choices. I'm going to choose the light blue for this one. A little bit of light blue paint. Whoop. And some varnish. My credit card. let that dry. And I'm bring, bringing in a final layer of some fun underpants. Not covering everything, but adding another layer of fun. Each layer adds energy, each layer adds interest. Yes, I know you feel like you're covering things up, but we are just adding more interest. I have one more paper tape that we can use. that 
under at our final color which is the green and a little bit of varnish the varnish dilutes the paint but does not affect the integrity of the paint where water would affect the integrity of the paint um, I think Mod Podge will work just as well. I don't know. I have suggested it. I have not really tried it. Well, I tried it once and it worked just fine. So use what you have, gang. Use what you have. This is dry to the touch, but I'm sure that the layers, uh, there's still some moisture in the layers. I personally don't like the shine of the craft acrylic paint and the varnish, so I just go in here and rough it up a little bit. Then when it's more dull, I am a happier camper. All right, we're going to bring our focal point back in. Very fun. Glue that down with Mod Podge. I'm going to bring my credit card and gesso back in. And I'm going to bring my stabilo in, go around the edges of the piece and around the edges of the focal points. smoky finish of the stabilo that I adore completely alters the piece for me can't talk and spit and smudge at the same time and the stabilo does take practice so what I do is I just I put a little bit of spit on my finger and then snap it off and then smudge uh, some people have a sponge nearby, a little bit of water nearby, so do what you need to do around that. All right, okay, I'm bringing in my makeup sponge and a fun stencil and the gold paint, which I used at the very beginning of this piece. Put some on my workspace. Put some of my makeup sponge and just bounce it over the stencil. So I love this. I 
I'm going to dry this and then we're going to talk about it a little bit. So I don't know how well you can see this on camera, but for me this is a very powerful piece in as much as it has these children here. Uh, and in the background we have some of the circus uh, images and how children have dreams to have fun and things like that and how we as adults or uh, our parents perhaps kind of fogged over our dreams and maybe even spilt their coffee or whatever on our dreams. So uh, kind of a dark piece for me, but uh, I tend to go there sometimes. Going to add some black dots. Dots are always fun. This was fun, fun, fun to make. I love it. Go create, go play, go have fun.